Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to do uh, hashtag 31 days of creep. I did yesterday a day of the dead skull um, where I painted it with fabric paint that my daughter uh, made with um, embroidery floss. And I painted that and I meant to put that as my 31 days of creep um, for yesterday, but I forgot to put it in the title, of course. So anyway, this is what we're going to do to die. I'm just going to draw and play. This is... um the paper that I used when I had, uh, did the video for the image transfer that's on there. I don't care. Cause I'm just going to draw and I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to try, but I hope you guys are having a great day and let's see what we can do here. It's very humid here, but like damp and cold, which is not a very good con, you know, a very good uh, combination. How do I want to do? I want hair to be. <clears throat> like, because I just want to see what I want to do here. Um, and then the eyes are going to be like that. Then I want the face kind of be like that and then give her a little little nose for now and then I want to do a uh, kind of mouth I want to make those dark the hair I want to be like I said down like that but I want it to be up here I'm just talking through it because that's how I want to do it all right now I don't necessarily want this so off. Let's see. And I want her to have a skinny neck. All right. That just is the layout that I want. I want her hair to go down long. And then I want us to be her shoulders. And give her a shirt with a collar and then down for, this is going to be her hair. That's going to mask all that. Hmm. Maybe I'll start dress up this way. Like that. That's going to be her hair. And then maybe I should start this up a little bit more. Yeah. Let's see. All right. I'm just trying to figure out a little skirt for her. Just in my uh, idea. I wanted to do, I should have probably put her up higher. But I thought it would be cool to do, and this is not um, my idea. I'll have to post, I saw this on Pinterest, like where I see most of my stuff, but I don't want to, um, I'm not doing it exactly the same way, but I'm, I'm going to put the link down below because I did remember to, uh, when I saw it, I thought, oh, I got to try this because I like the, the colors, but I don't know, you know, how well it'll work. We'll see. Right now she just looks like she has stuff coming from her, uh, you know, her chimichanga. All right. Move that back a little bit. I just kind of want them to be tentacles, but I'm just lightly drawing them now so I can know exactly what I want what I really, really want. But when you see the picture, oh, it's so freaking cute. I don't know if it's for sale because I, I just loved it. I loved it. All right. So that is going to be like that. Now I need my 
good pencil that smears a bit when I use it. Okay, all right. Apparently, I probably have it in the other room. So I'll use this pencil because I was drawn and I probably put it in there. And I'm just going to darken these up because you know I love me the dark eyes. Like that. And then the mouth. Just give her a nose like that. And that's going to be her hair. Okay, so this I want to be I wonder if I should do it straight. No, I'll do this one. Okay, I'm just going to stripe it. I'm not going to worry too much about it. And <laughs> all right, so oh, my dog working. Um, let me get some black, and I'm gonna do her hair. And this is just our, you know, the carbon chalky finish Americana decor paint that I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed, obsessed. All right. So I want to use a flat brush. I'm just going in. First, I want to bring this down. Okay. Fill in this right here. La 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 la. I saw this and it was so cute. And I'm like, I want to make a baby doll like this. So I thought, all right, well, sketch it out. Like I always do, I'll sketch it out and then make a baby doll. So you will see. I'll show you guys when I'm done making the baby doll. I just like getting my idea, you know, like out, my ideas out of my head into this on paper. Those are her bangs, which I will make thicker. Okay. I'll probably go in and highlight more. All right. So that is her hair. Clean off my brush in that. And I want to put this away. I have my paper turned sideways. My hands are hurting real bad today. So I'm like trying to get, trying to uh, get it in a comfortable position because I feel like doing stuff today. And you know, that's when your hands are like, yeah, really? You feel like doing stuff today. Let me show you how that's gonna work out. I'm going to paint her face, and even though the paper is white, I'm going to put, and this is just white flat paint, whatever brand you have. I'm trying, I'm not talking because I'm trying to concentrate. Don't know why, because I'm just painting in this.
Now I have a little a little giveaway going. Well, I have two giveaways going on, I should say. I should say that too. I have a giveaway for the um I took a jelly plate, a big jelly plate, and I cut it into three slices. And I'm giving three of them away. And I have a video on how how they work. I have a lot of videos on my channel of how a jelly plate works in general. And I've seen people um, entering. And I saw a lot of you, which I love. I, I must tell you, because this doesn't happen too often. But some of you wrote, hey, great giveaway. I'm not going to enter because I already have one. And I thought, I, I just, you know, I love it. I love it. I think that's the nicest thing when I keep seeing everybody writing that who has it. So other people who don't have it has a chance to win it. That is why I love my peeps on here, my, my friends on here, because you guys are just so wonderful. Just such wonderful people. Now, you see, I'm doing it on white paper, but it does. I don't know how well you can see it, but it definitely... Um, just adds a little different uh, tone to it. But yes, I just have to thank all you guys who who did that because a lot of people wouldn't do that. Now I don't. One thing I I don't enter many contests. Um, when when people have them, because especially when they're given now if they're giving away their art, like if something that they did, I like to enter because I love having people's art, and you'll see. When I finish my downstairs, I, all, all kinds of art I have from all of you guys. So I do, um, oh, you know what? I'm going to do these stripes white. Um, so I do, you know, I love getting art. So I will enter for those kind of things when people are giving stuff away. Um, but as a, as a whole, as a rule, I don't normally do um, product. Like if people are giving product away, for the most part, depends on if I don't have it and I want to try it. But I don't usually do those kind of give, you know, enter those kind of giveaways, um, because I, you know, I want other people to win as well. So it was just really nice to see so many of you saying, you know, that you weren't going to enter. I don't know. Why I'm babbling about that, but it just was really nice. Like I said, that's why I love uh, all you guys because you you guys are just wonderful. Just wonderful. And then I'm having a um, small giveaway for just a thing of clay. I, I like throwing in smalls once in a while, just, you know, because the clay, um, I have a video for that as well. It's before this one. Uh, just so somebody can, you know, who maybe hasn't tried polymer clay, wants to try it, don't have the money or, or, um, you know, wants to try this brand because it's a store brand and I really love it. And I got asked it's when, I, when it comes to clay, besides me doing more clay things, people like to know difference between all the brands and all. So they wanted to know what a store brand was like, because you can get them sometimes can, a lot cheaper. Um, so I got one and you can see the video to that. Um, so I'm going to do a giveaway for just a block. Nothing major. All right. So I think I'm going to do, I was going to do black and white stripes, but I think I'm going to do purple because I already have um, black here. And if I do that, I'm afraid it's going to make it to uh, like not know exactly what's going on. So I'm going to do purple. I can always trace them, the lines with black. Okay, we had a uh, prisoner breakout here <laughs> uh, in uh, New Jersey, in South Jersey. 
yesterday, I guess he broke out or the day before. So then everywhere you're reading, it's like, you know, there's this horrible, and it's only like right up the street from me, you know, up the highway, not that close, but close enough. And, uh, I guess he ended up in Philly. That's where they finally found him. But people were going nuts in the neighborhood and everywhere worrying. Yeah, but they did find him. Makes me sound like I live in a crappy, crappy town. And that's not the case. But uh, I don't know how long it, it's the Ancora. mental hospital and uh, I think it's a minimum security prison so I don't know what exactly he did if you read about it yesterday I think he they said he was violent but who knows if they were just doing that so nobody helped him or went near him maybe I don't know don't know too much about him I just know that that was issued yesterday which is always enjoyable I wonder how the heck he got to Philly from here when he was, I mean, like it was everywhere. So I don't know how he got on a bus unless he hitchhiked, but Hey, what do I know? I always like to think to myself, what would I do? What would I do if I was a prisoner and I broke out? I guess he thought maybe in Philly, maybe he wouldn't get caught. Maybe he had family there. Who knows? All right, so I'm going to do those, keep that pink in. See, I'm not digging the white, though. I'm not digging the white hmm. in there. So I'm going to have to figure out something else to do in there. Poopies. Okay, so that's all right. All right, so I'm going to go in with... And just do a little around it just a couple times there <laughs> just to make it a bit darker but I really want to find a my pencils my drawing pencils I have I'm not real sure where they are and I never um I want that dark maybe this will do it I want that kind of smudged look Okay, I know I have my smudgy thing. I just saw my smudgy thing. Eh, here it is. Let's smudge a little bit. Oh, that one smudged good. Okay. Hmm. What color do I want to put in there with the orange? Do I want orange? No, I don't want orange. You know what? What about green? I wonder if we did a green. Too late now, Cal. I guess you're doing green. I don't think you ever can have too much green. I love green. Kermit likes green. I don't know why I said that. I think because they always are putting them Muppets that are on the TV always around on commercials and it's sticking in my head. I don't, any of you guys watch those Muppets that they started putting on the TV? <clears throat> I forget what night it's on. I just don't. I don't dig it. I don't dig it. But apparently people do because it's still on. So it must have decent ratings because they take things off that I watch that uh, they say have low ratings. So I don't know. Okay. That'll work for that. And now I want to erase just some of this middle. I'm just going to go right in the middle and make that. Clean 
down a little bit. Just like that. And then I want to use a, a marker or a pen. Use a pen, use my, let's see if my Sharpie will work. Okay, you know what, maybe I'll do, give her that nose. And then maybe, should I put, kind of go like this. I'm kind of just doing my own thing here now. Don't know. Maybe I should trace these two. Okay. I like to outline in black. I don't know why. Just, I don't know if it's like a, uh, it helps like some OCD or something. I don't exactly know why I do it, but I do. You're like, come on. And when you do this, this is a Sharpie, but make sure that you um, clean whatever pen you're using off. I roll it on the side to get all that, and then give it like a scribble. So that it gets that acrylic paint off so it doesn't ruin it. Because I can, I, I've been known to ruin some pencils. All right, so down here, I want to do a couple. I think I might just use, let's see if this will work for me. Oh, I'm making it too sketchy. And I don't want it to look to be sketchy. Come on there, buddy. Big ones. You can hear my cats running all over the place out there. I shut the door because they're wild today, the cats. All right, you know what's not working is this pen. This pen is not working. All right. <clears throat> oh, let me find the pen. Where are all my pens? Oops, sorry, that was me. Hit the, hit that. Hope y'all get to get seasick, or whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm not worrying if I'm not hitting exactly tracing the line because I'll erase that. So it's not, you know, not that big a deal. I'm just kind of going near it. And then I might as well, should have just drew with this in the first place. All right, so now I'm just gonna put some lines in because I'm probably gonna, who knows what I'll do. This is just my thought. I thought that when I saw this, I was like, ooh, then if I put these octopus legs um, out, like they can, it can be sat on. Like I'll, I'll make it so I use these and um, for feet, but I'll also use it, have enough of them so when they sit, it's on, like the doll sits, it's on those, if that makes sense. So that's gonna just be underneath of her. So I don't exactly know how many that I will put, but that's that's why I have this going on. I don't know so much I'm gonna paint this on here. It's just gonna give me the idea of what I wanna do. So I remember, but I don't know if I'm gonna just go through all that right now and paint all this and bore the crappers out of these by watching me curse and try to get into there. But this is the idea. 
and that'll be enough idea for me. Now I think she needs, like, and then I thought it would be cute to do, let me see. Um, okay, if I do a circle, and go this way, this way, this way, let's see. All right, but I want it sitting on her, so that that's up a little high, but I still get the idea of what I want. I'm in my own head today. I am so sorry. And then I kind of want the tail to kind of follow that gig. I would want the eyes to be red, because why not? It's just so I remember to put my little kitty cat there. My little eyes. And then I thought it would be cute. Hmm. do a skull sitting on here now this looks nothing like the painting the only thing that looks like the picture that I saw which is much better than mine but is the uh, is this and it has a cat in it does it have skulls in it can't remember if it had skulls in it. It might have. But mine looks nothing. It's just like I said. And that's what that's what I like with my art. And I like when I watch other people's art. I like to be inspired by something. And that inspired me when I saw this. Um, just to do things, like I said, to make a doll. Um, but I love when I see people, what they do. And it's, you know, it's inspired by something I did. So make sure you, you know, you check out. Uh, I think this was on Deviant Art When I saw it on Pinterest, somebody pinned it. Now, I might put a ribbon in her hair, but I'm not going to draw that on there because I'm not real sure. I just want it very, like I said, very creepy looking, and I want this long hair. So I think that's all. That's 26 minutes. You're never getting back. <laughs> I just sat and talked through that. That's why I love talking through it. I, I just love talking through it and figuring out exactly what. I want and what I want to do, what I really, really want. I really want my Sharpie to work. But yeah, that's, that's it for now. Like I said, this, these will be black and white. So when I do them in, um, they're going to be a pain to sew, but when I do them, I'm going to do it in striped. I can't decide whether I'm going to do it in, um, In black and white pieces of fabric or just white pieces of fabric and add the black if that makes sense you know what I'm saying All right, I said I said I wasn't gonna do this but I get that see this is OCD for me some people like to draw you know certain things and other people like me I'm OCD so I'm gonna kind of do like this and then do the tail there and that I think I'm gonna make that tail black and white too okay all right I'm done I'm sorry <laughs> I'm a mess I'm a mess all right that's my idea so I'm gonna have to bring that to life in a doll. But 
Thank you very, very much. I love you guys. And I love all you guys who are doing this. And all your stuff looks so great. I've been off and on. Some things I do and then I don't tag it as, you know, like I said yesterday, I wanted it to be. And uh, a 30, you know, hashtag 31 days of creep. And I completely forgot. So I love you guys so very much. As always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Check out the giveaways I have going on. I have two going on. And the links will be down below for them. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.